welcome back. So today I'm going to do the follow-up video to my comprehensive guide on buying on Facebook. And today we're going to be talking about trading. So trading plants is a really really cool way of growing your collection without spending like a lot a lot a lot of money um, and it's a great way of you know like interacting with people in the plant community um, so I've traded some plants recently I do have footage of me unboxing it so I'm gonna put it in right now and then I'm gonna come back and talk more about how to properly trade and do an update on how those plants I traded for are doing hi everyone so I'm going to be opening this package right now so um, I did a trade from Facebook um, where I traded my Refina for the Cursiva for um, for a couple plants and I'm super super excited about it um, the person I traded with her name is Abby she does have a plant Instagram so I'll be sure to put the name of her plant Instagram up on the screen right now because I can't remember what it was off the top of my head but it arrived today. There was like a one day delay from the post office. Um, but it's fine because the post office is like so overworked right now. So I totally understand. All right. Here we go. I'm super, super excited about this. Some paper. Ooh, she put fluff in. I love it when there's fluff. Ooh, okay. So here's the first plant that I traded for. So these are rooted cuttings of um, Skindapsis Jade Satin. So it's a Skindapsis, but it's green. Ooh. These look a little rough, but um, I'm sure it's fine. It'll probably bounce back. This one is a little, a little flimsy, but it's okay. And I'm pretty sure she showed me the pictures of the roots before she sent it so I'm pretty sure they were already um like rooted but this is what it looks like so that's the first plant I traded for and then the second plant which is the whole point of me doing this trade because I really wanted this plant and I feel like this is not a plant that's um very often talked about so, I'm really excited. Ooh. Okay, there's a little bit of dirt, but not that much. Ooh, okay. Here it is. This is an Aglonema chocolate plant. And I feel like nobody talks about this plant, but it's so pretty. So that's what it looks like. And then the back is kind of like brownish, and that's why it's, you know, an Aglonema chocolate. Do you see how like the back is like kind of a brown color? And then this leaf was damaged prior to shipping. And she did show me that in the photos, so that's totally fine. It's so cute! OMG! And then like, um, you can more so clearly tell on this leaf, but the front has like a pattern. Let me see if I can show you. Do you see how it's like... It has a pattern and it's kind of like almost like a camo-y but not really but kind of like a camo-y pattern yo i'm so excited about this all right and this is like a new leaf this is so cool um i feel like aglonemas are oh and it's like definitely rooted you see like it's rooted like all the way down the bottom um i feel like aglonemas are so freaking underrated and i saw this plant for the first time on winter morgan's instagram i love her instagram um she is a soil free like uh plant 
also all of her plants are in different inorganic mixtures which is super super cool I might transfer this over to Lekka I haven't decided yet but I feel like aglonemas are very easy going so um it'll probably do great either way to, if I leave it in dirt or if I transfer it but yeah this is so awesome it's so cute Yay, I'm so excited. All right, thank you, Abby, so much for trading with me. I love these. These are so cute. All right. Okay, so basically, I did that trade back in, like, I think early to mid-April, and now it's early May, so I've had these plants for maybe three weeks, maybe a little bit more than three weeks, if I'm not mistaken. But let's talk about the actual process on how we got here, right? So I put up an ISO post on Facebook in time to splurge and purge BST which is the Facebook group I talked about in my buying video and I was like these are the plants I'm looking for Agonema chocolate um Milano Chrysum, El Choco Red, Florida Ghost and I have these plants to trade if anyone's interested in trading but I also wrote that I would be also interested in just buying the plant outright if anyone had any. Um, I've also put up ISO posts in the past on Instagram and I've also made you know, like videos on YouTube being like this is my wish list and people have reached out to me that way for trades. Um, you know like wherever you interact with your plant community there's definitely a way to you know facilitate trades there I think Facebook is just kind of like the quickest way though so um, a girl named Abby reached out to me she says I have aglaonema chocolate and I would be interested in trading for the decursiva um, let's talk about it so we moved to Facebook Messenger to talk about the trade she showed me pictures of the aglaonema chocolate that I ended up unboxing and then I showed her pictures of my decursiva and so obviously in a trade you want to make it fair and what is fair is obviously up to the two of you who are trading um and I would say this agonema um qualifies as a rooted cutting versus my decursiva was a fully rooted plant and it was kind of like a larger specimen um and so we decided that it'd be cool if we could trade my decursiva for the agonema chocolate plus another plant so she you know listed all the different plants that she had and then she showed me pictures and then so I we ended up agreeing that we were going to trade my rapid for decursiva for an agonema chocolate and semi-rooted cuttings of skidapsis jade which is awesome like I was definitely like looking for both of those plants so that's a really cool trade and then we came up together with a value on what we think that this trade would be worth uh, we ended up agreeing on $40 whatever the amount is it's like really up to you and this is the really important part and why we determine the value of the trade is because we want to do a paypal backed trade i feel like everyone talks about paper backed trades but like how do you actually do one um so this is how you do one basically you go into paypal and you both send each other invoices so i send abby an invoice for 40 dollars uh for my rafa de florida cursiva and then she sent me an invoice for the aglonema chocolate and the skin Dapsis jade cuttings for 40 dollars and then we both fulfill those invoices right because we both sent each other $40 it's a wash so you know we didn't really lose money and that's why it's a trade it's really important that when you're fulfilling those PayPal invoices you click goods and services PayPal goods and services um, again same with like the buying on PayPal the trading on PayPal you need to click goods and services that's the only way you get buyer's protection if you click fans and friends and family you don't get buyer's protection so goods and services it's very very important okay so we both fulfill those invoices and we both agreed to ship out on the same day and we both shipped out on a Monday and she received her plant on Wednesday. She did an unboxing of the Rafa de Florida Cursiva. So I'll link her video down in the description below. And then I filmed my unboxing the day after when I received it, which was a Thursday. And I'm just getting around to uploading the video now. So yeah, then that was a successful trade because we both received 
you know the plants that we were looking for okay so the reason we do paper back trades is in case that this didn't happen that not both parties are happy um let's say that i never got my plant at all right so because we paid with paypal goods and services now i can file a claim with paypal being like she never shipped out my plant which yeah like she did um but like fictional version like she never shipped out my plant so then i would get the 40 dollars that i paid when i was fulfilling her invoice back and that's why we do goods and services if it was like an issue if she did ship the plant but then the post office lost it unfortunately that would have to be a claim with the post office um and you know like how you handle the situation like that that's really up to you and the other person um personally i would you know like try to be nice and offer to send a replacement even though it wouldn't be my fault but um you know that really depends on the situation kind of like the rarity of plans and that's really up to you the other person to hash it out but um the really important thing is that you do the paper back trace so that if they don't ship out at all you get the money back so yeah all right so that's pretty much it for the process and how to do it um Let's do an update on the plants since I've had them for a while. So this is the Aglonema chocolate now. So from that unboxing video, you see that I cut off the largest leaf. It ended up yellowing um, and it was looking like not so hot anyways. So um, it has three leaves now and they look really good. And there's a new growth point. Can you tell? It's like right here. So there's a new leaf coming out and then I also converted it into Lekka, which it's been really happy with so far. I haven't had any problems with that. Um, so the stem is kind of like lengthy and um, you guys know I can't leave my plants alone. So I'm thinking about maybe propagating this plant um, by doing just like a snip snip um, and then trying to root this top portion and then this second portion can try to grow out new leaves I haven't really decided if that's what I'm gonna do yet or if I'm gonna leave my plants alone for once in my life but that might be a thing that's happening I don't know so that's the Aquanema chocolate um and then the skin daps is jade okay so I have some bad news unfortunately it had pretty severe root rot and I lost pretty much all of the cuttings except for this one leaf and this leaf um, lost all of its roots. So now it's back to being, you know, like rootless. That's like the center part of like the thick roots. So we have some like stringy roots. Um, this one so far has been sitting in water, barely surviving. Um, it's kind of sad, but it's fine. It happens. Um, I feel like the root rot was just because I didn't repot it immediately and the soil it was in was kind of like a more like moisture retentive soil so I probably should have repotted it like pretty much like immediately as soon as I got it but unfortunately it developed some root rot so now it's just a sad cutting in water. I might put it in sphagnum moss. I haven't decided yet but for now it's in water. So yeah um so that was the update on my trades uh, I do currently have like a post on my Instagram of like current trades I'm looking for so if you want to trade with me let me know on my Instagram all right if you like this video please give me a like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon bye